Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems. In this video, we're going to cover palettes. Enter the Workspace Bentley Connect training and the Workset Visualization and load the A Station Model MS VGN file. Now, palettes are a way that we deliver materials inside of MicroStation. What we need to do is we need to go to the Visualization Workflow, go to the Home tab, and we are going to go to the Materials Dialog Launcher in the Materials group. When we bring up the material editor, you can see that we have a palette open and loading uh, called building. That is called a local palette. You can tell by the folder, the blue folder just before it, it means that it's a local palette. This is a great benefit to us here at, uh, as far as people doing visualization. Um, the palette that I created, I created that palette. That palette that I created is loaded in the drawing file. So every material that I put in that palette gets embedded in the drawing file. And then the material then will follow the drawing. So if I give this drawing to somebody outside of my organization who might not have my palettes or my materials, they're sure to get the materials inside the local palette. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see I have another palette down here. It has a V8 logo before it. That is a palette called Ecosystem Materials that I'm working on right now. And that palette is in a DGN library. You can tell by the icon at the beginning of it. Also, the icons for the material. The, the round icon here, the sphere, that's called a PBR material. And then the book uh, that you see here is the, our old way of doing materials that we had in V8. And we, do, we still support both types of material. The idea behind palettes, local palettes, DGM Live palettes, uh, and loading the palette, if I go to the palette pull down and uh, click on open, I can scroll through the list of DGN lives that we have and the palettes that we have in those DGN lives. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to load glass and plastic. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see glass and plastic comes up here in my list of palettes. Now, best practices are that we create a local palette and then the materials that we want to use out of the palette, we can copy and paste them into the local from the ones delivered in the DGN Live. Now, if I hit the plus sign next to glass and plastic, that's going to expand that folder. And you can see that there we have a lot of glass and plastic here. We, we deliver a lot of materials with MicroStation. So uh, if I see a glass that I want to try, I can click on, for instance, a blue matte plastic smith, right? I can click on that, right click, hit copy, and then move up to highlight the building palette, which is local. I right click and paste. Okay, and then that gets copied into the local palette. And then I can assign it to somebody or I can assign it to an element. That is the best practice as far as MicroStation is concerned. We want those palettes local and those materials local. So whoever I get the file to, they will have the materials I used in the drawing file. Now you can uh, create a palette. Right? I loaded that palette. That's a DGN Live delivered palette, but you can create your own palette like I did with the building palette. If you go to palette and you hit new, it's just going to create a new blank palette. Uh, and then you can name it whatever you want. Maybe I'm going to use this one for the buses. And then I can copy and paste materials into that palette. It's very, very simple. You're just basically creating a folder. 
uh, like you would in Windows and putting files in it. That's all you're doing as far as palettes are concerned. Take a look at uh, the, our next videos on attaching materials and assigning materials. Thank you, and we'll talk to you soon. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.